this summer. Thank you so much for tuning in with us every week. Keep watching the rest of the video to see our final tips and tricks for the programs. Woo! Today we're going to show you guys some stretches to help you with your flexibility. Flexibility is really good for synchro, for routine, and for figures. Um, so today we're going to show you three stretches that we like to do to help with our splits. So the warm-up stretch that we want to do is uh, leg swings. So you'll do 20 on each side and you're trying to keep that bottom leg as extended as possible and get your leg as high up as you can. Nice. So the next stretch that you can do for splits is runner stretch. So you want to have your hands there and you're pushing down on your you hold this for 30 seconds and then you lean back, extend your front leg and you try and bring your toes towards your face and you hold this one for 30 seconds and then you do the other leg. Last one we're going to do is um, on the ground or you can do it standing up against the wall. You're just going to have a partner, you go level one, you would hold it for 30 seconds, then you go to level two for 30 seconds and then you push to your max, level three and the more flexible you are, the closer you get to the floor and you just don't want to go to the sides, you want to go straight down. So as you can see, Eric just started his stretching routine and his goal is to get where Christina's at. So keep up your stretching and we'll see you next summer. So here's the steps for a back dive fall in. First, you're going to want to have your hands like this and then put them above your head. And then as you look up, you're going to go on your tippy toes and fall back without jumping. Okay, Gabby here is going to do a demonstration for us. And now for the back dive. It's kind of like back dive falling, except just with a jump. So same thing. Hold your hands like this, look up, and you're going to bend your knees and jump back while arching your back. Very nice. Hi Vala, this week for swim team, we're gonna be teaching you how to do a breaststroke pull out. Um, so the first step, you're gonna push off the wall in a really tight streamline and make sure that you're in the tightest streamline possible, okay? Then you're gonna wait three seconds. One, two, three. And you're gonna push your hands down just like you're getting out of the pool, okay? As hard as you can. And you're gonna to count to two seconds. One, two. And then you're gonna glide your hands as close as you can to your body all the way back up the streamline and kick and then you're gonna wait one more second and then you can start swimming. Okay, yeah, this is what it looks like when you pull, put the pole out all together. Make sure you remember to do a fly kick before you pull, okay? To foul someone, push down on their shoulder when they have the ball. If the player does not let go of the ball, the ref will not call a foul. Fouling aggressively or with two hands will result in you getting kicked out for 30 seconds. Dunking is when you push the player with the ball's hand completely underwater. It becomes your ball. On offense, it is very important to protect the ball so that your opponent cannot dunk you. Hey Vawa! So this week for Bronze Men and Cross, Harrison and I are gonna be teaching you guys the difference between a lifesaver and a lifeguard. So basically lifesavers are you guys, they're bronze med and cross kids, and lifeguards are us. What's up guys? So the first difference between a lifesaver and a lifeguard is a lifesaver reacts anywhere, whereas a lifeguard only reacts at work. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Okay, so the next difference between a lifeguard and a lifesaver is a lifesaver is not paid and a lifeguard is paid when they're at work. Maya, did you hear the paycheck? Sorry. Yeah, I did. 
<laughs> the third difference between a lifeguard and a lifesaver is a lifeguard can be sued, whereas a lifesaver is protected by the Good Samaritan Act, which means they cannot be sued. What? Maya, you've just been served. So the next difference is a lifesaver has no access to equipment because they'll be anywhere in the world and a lifeguard has access to equipment. Lastly, a lifeguard prevents accidents whereas a lifesaver only reacts to accidents. Stop running, it's very slippery and you can get hurt. I am preventing an accident. Hey Valapol, thanks for watching. We'll see you next summer. That's it for this summer. Thank you to all the members for making Bala Quarantine Edition a blast. See you next year, kids.